Hey, -o, friendos, it is I, Dr. Bosky, and today we're going to talk about the timer object in Shmup Creator. So, special shout out and thank you to Reflex uh, and um, the community for uh, helping me understand what this thing is. And uh, why don't we jump over and I will do my best to explain it to you guys. All right, first, a little history. All right, so uh, Social Kid wanted to know how they could build essentially um, bonus score when you kill a boss. So if you kill a boss um, before a certain time, uh, so say you have a 60 second timer and you kill the boss before that 60 seconds expires, then you get bonus points. You could do anything you want in this case. So, um, and um, Sunny was like, hey, you could do this by setting up essentially a trigger that says um, on uh, enemy alive, then you would start your timer. And during the, and that timer, as long as the enemy is alive, um, when the enemy is killed and the timer is continuing, so it hasn't expired yet, then you would get a, um, you would get uh, a score in this case or an item or a bonus like that. So uh, Reflex set up um, a, a little test case and explained it. So basically, um, and this is what confused me a little bit, I'll jump in and show you guys. So basically, Reflex says the timer is basically an open and close switch. It will automatically turn on, let anything connected flow through it, and then after the set time, it will turn itself off again and basically opens up for the duration of the time setting. And the countdown timer should really be renamed delay timer, but uh, it's much easier to, uh, to understand and that it delays opening of the gate it will stay then, uh, it will then stay permanently open. Um, so yeah, so after the timer um, counts down and fires the, the next, uh, uh, next, when a countdown timer completes, it goes on to fire the next um, output for, um, uh, for the logic block. All right, so uh, to basically show this, so we have a couple things. So here's your timer object. Ooh boy, exciting, right? So you get to it from a gameplay drawer. So again, it's different than your countdown object, right? So this is wait some time before then firing. This is a uh, timer, stop after some time. So what we have here is we have a trigger. It's triggered now in this case, because we want to set it, in our case, we can set it for one time, but I wanted to, to, to make sure I check the condition where things trigger multiple times. So, but in this case, we have a trigger condition and it's called connected enemy state is all live in this case. So that is true. And then that fires over here to the timer object. Um, in this case, we'll set it to switch mode um, and it's gonna play until the end. The duration is three seconds in this case. And uh, we connect that over here to a little um, item spawner. So in this case, we just give a power up, could be anything though. Um, and then we have one more trigger here, which is um, connected enemy state is dead. So basically the gameplay here is that, I'll just uh, show you here. So, so if the player kills the enemy now, they don't get any bonus goodies. So let's try that again. But if the player kills the enemy before the timer expires, they get a bonus goodie, right? So um, the cool part is, is that this item spawner looks at both of these things to be true. So if the timer is not active, it then says, hey, this, this condition and this condition both have to be true. So even though only half of it is true because the timer expires, that then says, cool, here's your logic for spawning the power up. The other thing you can do that's cool with the uh, the timer object um, that I was I was always scratching my head about this a little bit is if you have a text object, so you have a text object that has an on-screen duration. So um, and uh, I was always wondering because um, I thought some other people had done it, but I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, how do you set up a text object or a graphic or anything to go away um, on demand, right? To have full control because you can set duration and that's great, but sometimes you want duration to be um, for the period of time that a, a player is in a certain zone. And then when they leave that zone for setting up like a tutorial dialogue, then you want that dialogue to go away. Um, and trying to set all of those durations by hand because they're variable um, makes it very hard for you to uh, make it deterministic based on what the player's doing. So in this case, we have a um, player goes into the zone. We have it set to switch mode. And when the player goes into the zone, we fire a timer. And that timer is set for three seconds. Um, and uh, that then triggers the, um, the text object 
So we set the duration for the text object, in this case, 10 seconds to make sure that it actually got canceled. And so let me just show you that real quick. Oh, uh, that was the 10, pushing the wrong buttons. All right, so we're over here, pressing the space bar, and that's true. And then you see it says timer gate open. And then when that timer expires, it then cancels the text object. So I'll just show you that again real quick. So the nice thing is it's re-triggerable. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in the game based on this logic. Okay, anyways, shout outs to everyone. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you in the Trump Creator Discord. Bye, everybody.